you hear about Iraq, about their situation, and you think, okay, I'm going to Iraq, what could happen? Yes, first of all, you know, on the other side, when you're outside of Iraq, and what you get through the media is all these problems uh, exactly. concerning Iraq. So, obviously, our bill is not represented as much as it should be. I mean, the Kurdistan area. But once you arrive here, you see the completely different picture. I would say that Erbil and Kurdistan is probably safer than some places that I've lived back in the States. Uh, I mean, as a person, as an individual, feeling safe from bombs and war, yes, I do feel safe. But as a woman, I think it's a, it's a bit more tricky. You need, to, um, you need to be more careful about what you do, where you go, who you go with. Um, Especially, I mean, walking on the street at, alone at night, I don't do that. Um, taking taxis on my own, I don't do that. This is a very safe place, security is very tight. Um, especially for an expat, the local authorities um, go the extra mile to make sure that uh, you are not being hassled or bothered. Or uh, They do a very good job at making sure that you're safe and uh, happy and comfortable living here. that it's a dangerous place. Um, I don't feel that uh, Erbil is a very dangerous place to live. Um, with the invasion in 2003, uh, there hasn't really been any serious incidents recorded in the entire Kurdistan region. And so it's been relatively a safe place and, and not a whole lot of action. A lot of people also don't know about Kurdistan until recently that it's a semi-independent uh, state and that it's much safer than many other places I've lived in. I was afraid of coming into Arbil because of what it portrayed in the media. First of all, when, when, I, when I came here, I was really worried about, about how, how media was, was uh, showing uh, Iraq and, and projecting Iraq. But, uh, but uh, Erbil is it's totally different. It's another country, if you want to say. There is, like I said, like the, what the media portrays is, is very a powerful, it's a powerful tool because it can brainwash you and you kind of just have to, you know, go in your gut feeling that it's, it's safe. It's, you know, I've been here since 2006 and, and I think what people in the Western or anywhere in the anywhere in the world, they have this misconception of Arbil, like it's in Iraq and it's just not safe. So before we arrived here, we didn't, we were not aware of this situation that is actually quite safe for us.